Tonight, controversy hits Port Pirie St Mark's College and a Port Lincoln youth lucky to survive as his car plunges four metres down an embankment. Good evening. Also in the bulletin, a look at the weekend's sporting action with football, soccer and golf. First tonight, a former employee at St Mark's College in Port Pirie is calling for a review into alleged sexual abuse at the school to be made public. The revelations of inappropriate relationships between a teacher and several students first made three years ago. The allegations surfaced in today's advertiser. Former Education Support Officer Jenny Crystal saying she raised concerns in August 2001 about a teacher's relationship with four girls aged 15 or 16 years old. She says a complaint was made about the teacher after he took alcohol to a student's home. The teacher resigned after the complaint was made. But in 2003, a more serious complaint was made against the teacher. It's understood police are investigating. Catholic Education South Australia began a review into the incident earlier this year. Ms Crystal says she's been told the review's findings are due to be completed as early as this week. Today, Ms Crystal didn't want to appear on camera, but says the review should be made public, with those involved having their identities protected. She wants to make sure any mistakes made over the past three years aren't repeated. Late this afternoon, Catholic Education South Australia released a statement saying the allegations made in 2003 about the teacher were immediately reported to police. The church, education authorities and police are collaborating and continue to do so. St Mark's College Acting Principal David Mezenich also sending a letter to parents today. Will MacDonald, Central News. A 17-year-old Port Lincoln youth lucky to be alive after plummeting four metres in his car this afternoon. Emergency crews called in to free the trapped motorist from the wreckage. The youth was travelling west along Western Approach Road and lost control just before the new West Road intersection at around midday. Veering to the left, the car dropped four metres down the embankment, hit a tree, then finally came to a halt roughly ten metres into the scrub, facing the opposite direction. Emergency crews say it's amazing the youth survived, considering this is all that's left of the early model Commodore. The tree has impacted uh, virtually right across into the centre of the vehicle. The impact has uh, thrown him back in the seat and uh, his legs have come up out of the wheel well and uh, therefore he's only uh, virtually been trapped uh, by one leg uh, that was over against the centre console. As MFS officers cut the front and rear doors free, ambulance officers and police attempted to calm the victim who could be heard screaming with cries of what happened. It took 20 minutes to free the youth. He sustained severe injuries to his right side and limbs. Obviously he was, was uh, in a lot of pain. He remained conscious all the time, uh, but MFS uh, did a great job in, and, uh, with uh, SA Ambulance. They did a great job in, uh, in getting him out as quickly as possible. Neighbouring workers alerted emergency crews after hearing a massive crash. Onlookers saying it was an accident waiting to happen, considering the behaviour of drivers on that particular corner. With the accident happening on this sweeping left bend in a 110 zone, police are using it as an opportunity to stress once again to the younger motorists the importance of taking care at higher speeds. Well, it appears uh, that speed may have been a, uh, a factor and, of course, this goes as a reminder to all motorists driving along that uh, you have to pay special attention uh, whilst you're driving, no matter what time of the day. Brett Clappers, Central News. Meanwhile, police say a man hit by a car on Highway 1 at Snowtown is also lucky to be alive. The accident happened at about 7.45 on Friday night. The man in his 70s with a major business interest in Port Piri walking across the highway at the mobile service station. Snowtown police say he was hit by a Mitsubishi sedan, somehow escaping with a broken leg. He remains in an Adelaide hospital. There's concerns for the future of tourism in Broken Hill. Council's proposing a restructure of the Tourist Association. One member says it could mean local operators will no longer have a voice. Tourist Association Vice Chairman Fran McKinnon says she's watched Council gradually take control of the direction of tourism and the association made up of local tourist operators is being sidelined. First it was taking over employing staff at the Information Centre, then Council became the association's treasurer. The biggest fear is that we lose the local input from the, from the local business and tourism people. Um, if we totally just disassociate the Tourist Association from the Council. 
General Manager James Hall is presenting a proposal to shake up tourism at a meeting tomorrow night. Earlier this year, a working paper criticised the effectiveness of the city's peak tourism body. His proposal includes having a new board to better coordinate marketing programs. But Ms McKinnon says the board will be stacked with external tourism players who might not contribute to the costs. Total membership fees for the associations $50,000 annually. They're talking about people like someone from the uh, Rex Airlines and yeah, sort of the, um, the tourism operators from outside the city. The people that are controlling the tourism dollars of the council will be people from away. She says the city doesn't need another committee and wants proof the proposed system will work. Anything that we put forward is either ignored or uh, you know, dismissed. So. Um, there needs to be some more clear lines of direction there uh, and that can be sorted out with the current constitution. But um, just to throw you know, the baby out with the bathwater is not the way to go. Michelle Vella, Central News. One of the world's largest retail giants has opened its doors in Port Lincoln after months of hype and controversy, Kmart's finally open, already getting the thumbs up from shoppers. Lots of people go to uh, Wyala you know, to, to get the variety that's here, where it should be kept in the town. I believe the money should be kept in the town, and uh, this is the way of doing it. Because the bigger cities have all got them, and we all go to Adelaide to shop there, so now we don't have to do that. We can spend our money at home. Dozens of keen bargain hunters lined up this morning to be the first shoppers to walk through the aisles of the city's first discount department store. Mayor Peter Davis officially cutting the ribbon, allowing the floodgates to open. The store employs roughly 100 locals, the team preparing for the opening day months in advance. But it has many local traders are worried. The new 4,000 square metre store has products in 50 departments. Store manager George Hosking says it will give customers a new shopping experience. The retail community will have to wait and see whether Kmart will help curb the trend of Port Lincoln shoppers heading to Wyala. Next up, Port Augusta to push for more aged care units and Trevor soon to find out his fate in the Big Brother final eviction. Hello and welcome once again to the Southern Cross Television Super Quiz and your chance to share in $10,000 worth of prizes. Congratulations to the winners from Friday, Saturday and Sunday night. You've picked up a great prize from LG. What have you got in store for us tonight, Tom? Thanks, Will. This 51 centimetre magnificent TV, flat -tron, life is good from LG. To be in the running, simply answer the following question. Central Television's mascot is number one, Humphrey B. Bear, number two, Bacana Bilby, or number three, Fat Cat. Once you think you have the answer, simply dial 1900 933 000 and follow the prompts, or SMS the number one, two, or three, to 188 1138 and remember all entries go into the draw for the major prize of an LG home theatre system valued at $5,000. Keep watching for more chances to win in the Southern Cross Television Super Quiz.